hello everyone welcome to vmware arena youtube channel in this video i am going to explain you what is vmware vmotion and i will also explain you what are the prerequisites which we need to be configured at the esxa level for the vmotion to work in this video i will take a whiteboard session help you to understand what are the pain points and challenges of running workloads in the physical environment and also I will explain how the VMware vMotion simplifies the workload and the application in VMware environment. Let's get started. So before we uh, talked about the prerequisite, let's understand uh, the typical physical environment and what are the challenges of a physical environment and running workloads in physical environment. Let's imagine I have a physical uh, server, which is physical hardware. I have a web server installed. Imagine a web server. Let's draw the physical server here. Okay, this is my physical hardware. So I installed Windows Server 2019. Let's take the latest OS. So I install Windows Server 2019. I install IIS, which helps me to create an, uh, a web, web pages and web server here. So I created an, uh, uh, web pages. I named this server as web server 01. Imagine I have a, uh, four memory modules in this particular uh, physical hardware. So just assume one of the uh, memory module is failed, right? So in the physical world, if I want to replace the physical uh, memory model, so I have to power off the physical server, which is my physical hardware, to replace a failed memory module. So for that, um, you know, I it I need a downtime for the web server. Uh, because I need to either uh, only option is to shut down and power off the server to replace the failed module, right? So I have to shut down and power off, uh, remove the failed modules, replace the new memory modules, then power on the server and uh, start the IA service. Then uh, the web server will be serving the request of users, right? So this is the uh, overall flow basically. So once all, all comes up, we have to start the web server and uh, you, so request user request will come in and it serves. So basically what is the problem in this approach, right? So web server is uh, down for almost imagine uh, it took uh, 30 minutes uh, to uh, power off, shut down and uh, replace the failed memory modules, right? So the downtime for the web application is equal into the time it taken. Imagine. Uh, uh, the overall time it taken to replace a failed module is 45 minutes. So you need a 45 minutes downtime for your web server, right? So um, in our previous videos, we understand what is the importance of a virtualization, how VMware virtualization simplifies running uh, virtual machines and uh, how it helps us to, you know, like uh, actively, you know, uh, consume the physical hardware, how to avoid um, downtime all these things let's talk about the example in vmware imagine i have a uh, two physical hardware uh, just consider the same hardware which i installed my uh, windows server in the earlier example so i install esxi here okay so i have installed esxi uh, um, hypervisor on the physical hardware so this is my hardware uh, similarly i have a memory modules imagine the same uh, hardware model i'm using it here okay so i have a memory modules so i install esxi uh, imagine any any version like 6.5 or 7.0 or anything i have a two server okay now uh, i'm i'm running on a virtual machine uh, imagine i'm running four virtual machine like vm1 vm2 vm3 and vm4 Let me draw the VMs. Okay, I'm running four virtual machine. Imagine I have, I'm running uh, two virtual machines in this. So which is uh, VM, let's take VM5 and VM6. Okay, so as in the earlier uh, scenario, the same, I got a memory module which is failed in my ESXA host. So I'm running four virtual machine in this ESXA host. Imagine uh, different services like web server, app server, a DB server or file server, anything which is running inside the virtual machine, right? So I want to replace the failed memory module. So do it on the virtual machine as well here. So how to avoid the downtime of virtual machines? Because I want to power off, power down the my physical server, right? 
So I need to bring down the physical server for replacement of uh, my failed memory model that is mandatory. But how can we avoid the downtime for the virtual machines and application running here, right? So here is come a VMware vMotion will help me to avoid the downtime of this virtual machine. So VMware virtual machine will help us to live migrate virtual machines from one ESXi host to another ESXi host without any downtime to the application. If you ping the VMs during the vMotion, we don't even get the uh, uh, request timeout or hardly you'll get one request timeout when you do the continuous ping. So basically it will migrate the virtual machine uh, from the ESXA1 to ESXA2, something like this. All the VMs will be migrated here So I can shut down my ESXi host now. So no VMs are there here. I can power off or shut down the physical server. I can hand it over to my data center team so they can replace the failed module the server. So imagine they just remove and replace the failed memory module here. I can power on the servers. Just remove back my servers i can move again vmotion the my virtual machine which is vm1 2 and 3 and 4 back to my esxa1 it need not be the same virtual machine i can also migrate vm5 and vm6 as well okay now we understand how to avoid the downtime right so we can make use of vmware vmotion so vmotion helps us to migrate our virtual machines live migrate our virtual machine from one esxa host to other esxa host let's understand what are the some of the prerequisite configuration which needs to be exist at the esxi level for the vmotion to work so imagine i have a uh, v, v, VM network, uh, I, I have a two ESXi hosts, I'm running one virtual machine here. So whenever we install ESXi, we'll create a management network, which is called as a management VM kernel network. So for the vMotion to work, I need an, another VM kernel network called vMotion VM kernel network. So I can create a new VM kernel network. I can enable the vMotion services so that, you know, like this, uh, so it allows the vMotion traffic to go via that particular VM kernel network. I, even in some cases, I can also enable the VM kernel on the existing uh, management VM kernel network as well. And next one is imagine the shared storage. So imagine I have a LUN1, uh, which is coming from my uh, SAN storage or iSCSI or NFS, anything, right? So my virtual machine is saved here. And uh, both the ESXi host is having access to that particular uh, data store, which is my LUN. Okay, so the virtual machine is stored in the particular data store. So what happened when I perform the uh, VMware vMotion, basically the storage of virtual machine will not get uh, changed, right? It will still stay in the existing data store. The only active memory pages which is happening on the virtual machine will be transferred and the virtual machine control will be transferred to the ESXi 02 during the vMotion. So the second requirement is something like shared storage. This is hardly uh, not a uh, uh, hard requirement now because even we can vMotion the virtual machine uh, without a shared storage as well. But for the basic understanding, I'm explaining you. Next one, a virtual machine will be connected to one of the port group, right? Imagine any port group like demo demo port group or something. I created something, right? So for the vMotion to happen, I need to have a same port group and the same network configuration created at the another ESXA host as well. Because when my virtual machine is moving, it have to continue to connect to the port group, uh, same port group, so that, you know, like uh, it will not create a downtime to my virtual machine, right? So for that, we need to have a same VLAN tagging exist on uh, both the ESXA host and same port group, exact same name should be created on under the uh, your uh, standard switch or distributed switch in both the ESXA host. Okay, so now we understand the major three requirement is we need a VM kernel vMotion network, we need a shared storage and we need to have a, a VM port group name, same exact port group name and similar network configuration. So let's uh, 
let's log into my ESXA host and I will show uh, how to create a VM kernel network now. So go to the ESXA host, click on VM kernel network. So this is the management uh, VM kernel network which will be created during my installation. So because when we install the ESXA host, we configure this IP address. You can watch my existing video of ESXA installation. Uh, so as I said, we can also enable the vMotion service on existing VM kernel uh, management VM kernel interface or we can create a new one. So here select VM kernel network adapter. So I'm going to select existing standard switch. I'm going to create an, uh, um, we can also, uh, if you have an existing port group, we can use that, but I'm going to create a, uh, on the existing uh, standard switch. So select the existing switch, uh, which is V switch zero, click on next. So specify the network label. So let me specify something like vMotion and we can specify the VLAN ID, uh, IP settings, whether it is IPv4 or IPv6. And we have to enable the vMotion for the enabled services, right? So uh, ensure the vMotion is uh, enabled here. So we can use the static IP settings. So specify the IP address for the vMotion VM kernel interfaces. For each of the VM kernel interfaces, we need them. VMotion work, you have to configure the same, uh, you have to create a similar VM kernel interface and uh, on the other ESXA host as well, where we want to uh, live migrate our virtual machine, click on finish. That's it. Uh, let me refresh. Yes, my vMotion VM kernel network is enabled and vMotion is enabled here. Okay. So I don't have a shared storage and other things. I will talk about uh, how, how to perform a VMware vMotion and how to create a shared storage, all these things in the upcoming video. I hope this helps you to understand what is VMware vMotion, what are the some of the prerequisite uh, for vMotion to work. Uh, I hope this is informative for you. Please, please do subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to get the continuous notification if I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please, please do subscribe. Bye-bye.